Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and it's Super Bowl time. So I'm gonna make some rockin' beef sliders for you and all your guests that you can enjoy throughout that long game. So I've got all my ingredients here for beef sliders, and before I get going on the beef and tell you what I'm gonna put in it, I wanna get going on the caramelized onions. I love caramelized onions on top of my burgers, so I wanna show you how to do those too. I have a hot skillet here with a little bit of uh, vegetable oil in there. I'm gonna click that back on. I have sliced my onion into little pieces like this. And I'm gonna get those going in here. So get these in the pan, break them all up. And the thing with caramelized onions is, is that they take so long, but they're really well worth it. So get those started first. We're gonna let those saute down just a little bit before I add some other ingredients. So the beef, I've got a pound of ground beef here. The key with a good burger, I think, is just starting with really good meat. If you start with good ground beef that has a nice amount of fat in it, at least 10% fat, um, so probably I think 15% fat is the best amount in your ground beef, you're going to have a good burger. So really all you need to add is a sprinkle of salt, maybe two sprinkles of salt, some black pepper, freshly ground will make a big difference if you have access to that. And then I like adding a little Worcestershire sauce. So, teaspoon. So get that mixed up with your hand. Also, keep in mind when anytime you're working with ground beef, you wanna be gentle and fragile with the meat. If you take it in your hand really roughly and mush it tightly, you'll end up with really tough burgers or tough meatloaf or tough whatever it is you're making. So gently mix in the salt, pepper, and Worcestershire. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a while Definitely want your meat to be at room temperature before you start frying your burgers. So we'll let that sit aside and I'll continue working on the onions. I'll give those probably um, five more minutes and then I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of brown sugar. Alrighty, the onions are nice and cooked down. We can see here that one onion becomes not so much. I added, I probably ended up adding a quarter cup of brown sugar and a little sprinkle of balsamic vinegar to keep those, to keep some moisture in the oven, and the onion. All right, now that those are done, we can begin making our patties. So I'm gonna get my pan nice and hot. Whenever I make hamburgers in a skillet, I like to add a little bit of salt. There's no need to add any oil because there's already so much fat in the hamburger meat. That's just not necessary. But you do want your skittle to be nice and warm to start. So little patties, these are our wee buns. Okay, that I'm gonna cut in half. And these are actually just dinner roll buns um, that you can find at any market and with little sesame seeds on there. So this will be our little slider bun. I'm gonna cut that off, make it a little more round. <laughs> All right, so if you can't find official slider buns, these definitely work. So we wanna think about a patty that is bigger than this because of course it's gonna shrink up when you cook it. Be very gentle, of course, with your meat. Pat it lightly and gently and love it. Make it as uniform as possible. And start off with them pretty flat because once they hit the heat, they're gonna suck up and get fatter. And then I turn my skillet down to about medium. So once it's hot, you can turn it down a little bit. Alrighty, so those are gonna cook for about a minute and a half per side. So I'll give them a flip in about a minute and a half. Already our burgers are looking good. They have shrunk a bit because they've lost the fat, but that's what we would want. Uh, they've been in here probably about a minute and a half per side. So I'll take each of my little burgers, put it on a wee bun. Alrighty. A little bit of caramelized onion. And I love mustard. So. A little bit of mustard. Bink. Check them out. They're almost like little footballs, right? Brown, looking like it. Can't wait to eat these little things. So, this is how you make Super Bowl beef sliders. I hope you've enjoyed this experience. Enjoy the sliders, enjoy the game. 
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see any other videos, please send your emails to requestmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.